Hello and uh, welcome to another video on the topic of recipes, recipe handling, part two or three, I don't know. Um, we have one more thing we need to do here. I am right now logged in as operator. In the previous videos, you might be able to, uh, you not might be able, you are able to find how we do that, password locking and uh, creating those screens. And on the low security screen here, right? On the low security screen that I created, I have this recipe view. On the high security screen, I cannot log in as the operator, right? The operator doesn't have the right. So in the low security room, I can now select, hey, I wanna make a cake and it should be a cheesecake right now. And then I would load my data. The PLC would start creating the cheesecake. Done, I could have a start button here as well. So um, the problem right now is the operator can still change those recipes he could make a mistake and then he says yeah save this data i want to override done right pretty bad if the operator can do that uh, can do new things right here this should have this name yeah i'm creating a new one and i'm actually destroying the whole machine save this done oh there's also some i i this one i had in before oh i want to delete so the operator has way too much power right way too much power over this so we want to restrict the operator therefore i'm going to close this here right and i will uh, change my recipe view here actually so if you double click on the recipe view or if you go down here in properties properties and then we have under general we have the so-called editing mode if you deactivate the editing mode so now it's deactivated let's restart this that's the first part, part one, right? In low security, I go with my operator and the password. In the low security, I can now select recipes and I cannot change the values here anymore. That's good, that's very good. I cannot change the values, the operator is not supposed to, but still the operator can make new recipes and he can delete some and he can still save and too much, still too much, right? So the operator should be limited even more because that's not what operators do, right? They don't put in the recipes. Um, so again, on my recipe view in properties, we have the so-called toolbar. If you go to the toolbar, you can add more icons or you can delete some icons. So the operator should, for example, not have the new here. He should not be able to add new data records. He should not be able to save. If he made change, if there's changes, he's not supposed to change uh, to save it or delete data records or rename them or also read from plc we don't want to read from plc that's what we want to do so and that's the only thing the operator should be able to do so if i now go in here and i start my simulation you will see that some things have changed here right i go there operator and one two three four five and here we go. I can now only select those. I cannot change anything anymore. I can only click here on load. You see transfer completed. And that means this recipe is loaded. It can start now. Or I want actually, I want a pizza and the pizza should be pepperoni. Load the recipe, done. And you can see the operator cannot do anything more. I can click on home, but the operator cannot access the high security here, right? For the high security login, we would need then to be the boss and the boss also has the uh, password clicking OK and on the high security screen right now there's nothing right on the low security also the boss cannot change anything right now right because we set it to that on the high security screen make a guess what we're going to put on the high security screen we are now going to put a recipe view here and this recipe view we do not change, right? We leave it as it is because this is the boss's, the boss's one or the technician, the one who puts the recipes in. He can go to this screen and change the recipes as he wants to, right? So the boss can also access this and he can now still make changes, right? I can still make changes because I am the boss. I can save, I can make new uh, recipes and so on and so on. See, this is how you can restrict, somehow restrict the um, operator from doing any changes. And of course here the, 
the one that has more rights, he can save this data set. And now it's actually also saved in my TAA portal. So uh, the next time I start this, it's still there. Here, I can also go to the low security, but if I log off, then the operator's there. The operator wants to go to the high security. He cannot, right? Because he's not supposed to change stuff. In the low security, he can select the recipe, but that's it. And he can also select the new recipe that the technician or the higher level guy, in this case, the boss, just created. Perfect. Just click download, transfer completed, can start the process. Yeah, that's how you can do some more recipe handling here and restricting the, uh, the, the operators a little bit because they don't need to have access to everything. That's 100% correct. So, yeah, if you need any more info on anything uh, here, just leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe as always. And I hope you learned a little bit. It was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.